Hey guys, back with another educational video and today we're talking about sleep. Sleep is very important. Now I know you guys hear a lot of people say that and many people just don't get enough of it. And quite frankly, I get it. Everybody today seems really busy. I'm busy, you're busy, Although you are watching a video on YouTube of a guy sitting here talking for 10 minutes about sleep. So how busy could you really be? I'm just kidding. I'm sure you're busy. Anyway, there's been a lot of recent studies looking at sleep and the effect of lack of sleep or extra sleep on performance, muscle mass, and strength. What the research tends to show overall is obviously if you are sleep deprived, there's performance decrements. Now, in the short term, like if we're talking one night of bad sleep, it doesn't seem to make too big of a difference on performance. It's not good for performance, but it's not like you're suddenly just gonna lose like 20% off your max squat or something like that. That's not gonna happen. But when it comes to long-term sleep deprivation, like of several weeks, it definitely seems to have a significant negative effect. And actually there was a study where they looked at having people get extra sleep. So I think they were having people sleep at least eight and a half hours and they found that their performance significantly improved. In fact, you could argue that sleep is the best performance enhancer there is other than steroids. No, no. I think one of the things a lot of people struggle with is feeling so busy, like there's not enough time to get things done. And so sleep gets put on the back burner. Well, I get it and I've been there, but I can tell you that a lot of times you can get more work done if you don't sleep just because when you feel refreshed, you're able to do a lot more shit. Now, there was a specific study that came out recently that a lot of people sent me because it kind of deals with the issue of energy balance. Now, we've done energy balance stuff a ton on this channel. If you haven't watched it before, go search Lane Norton, calories in, calories out, CICO, energy balance, you'll find all our videos. There was a study done where they took two groups. One group was getting at least eight hours of sleep a night. Another group was getting, I think, less than five and a half hours of sleep a night. And they had them diet for two weeks in a pretty aggressive deficit. What they found was that people who were sleep deprived lost 50% of the weight from lean body mass and 50% from fat mass. Whereas the people who were not sleep deprived lost almost all of it from fat mass. So people kind of were like, okay, well, how, does, how can you explain this with energy balance? Great question. So they still, both groups lost a similar amount of weight. So weight loss wasn't different. It was the composition of the weight that was different. So how does this happen? So when you're sleep deprived, you're less likely to move around and expend extra energy through things like non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Even if you're going to work out, you're probably not gonna feel as good, not put the same amount of effort in, so that kind of is on the energy expenditure side of things. On the energy intake side of things, they've shown that ghrelin can increase after just one night of bad sleep. So ghrelin is a hormone secreted by the gut that is a hunger hormone, makes you, makes you sense that you're hungry. Duh. <laughs> so you've got both ends of that energy balance equation. You've got increased ghrelin, so you're hungrier, more likely to overeat. You've also got uh, decreased energy expenditure so that probably explains a large portion of that. There's probably also some hormonal things going on, but I don't think the study measured like different hormones. I wouldn't be surprised if you saw a decrease in testosterone with a lack of sleep as well. And that might explain some of the compositional changes. So why was more lean mass loss compared to the group that was getting enough sleep? Hopefully future studies are gonna kind of tease out and elucidate why that's happening and what the mechanisms are. But the take homes are get more sleep. <laughs> now, some of you struggle with that, and I know I've struggled with it in the past. There's a few easy tips you can use. First off, have a nighttime routine. It's not just for babies, it's for adults too. Second, stop scrolling your damn feed. If you're sitting in bed doing this, you could be going to sleep. Now I get it, some people like scrolling their feed, it relaxes them, that sort of thing. If you're gonna do that, at least wear some blue blockers. Um, blue light in particular seems to disturb falling to sleep. So I would definitely recommend getting some kind of filtered glasses. Also, if you're using a computer and some smartphones, there's actually apps or filters that you can use that will block that blue light. So that will help as well. Now there are supplements that you can use that also help. Melatonin in particular 
seems to be quite effective at improving you getting to sleep and staying asleep. Anywhere from three to 10 milligrams seems to be an effective dose and it doesn't seem to have really many side effects at all. Um, in fact, there was a study done where they showed that supplementing with melatonin actually improved lean body mass. I don't think melatonin is anabolic. I think this improvement in lean body mass is probably secondary to the fact that these people were getting better sleep. Other tips, make sure the room is super dark. So as dark as you can get it, get blackout curtains. That makes a huge difference. If you're not gonna get blackout curtains, wear eye covers. Make sure it's cool. Uh, optimal temperature seems to be around 67 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Another thing that I've read about that apparently helps as well is having a blanket that's heavy. So if you have a heavy blanket that has weight to it, that appears to improve sleep as well. Uh, also a sound machine, if that's something that you tend to get disturbed in the middle of the night, having a sound machine can help with that because it's gonna drown out any kind of outside noise. Those things have all made a big difference for me. You don't have to get eight and a half hours of sleep. Um, again, that was just one study. Based on the research, it appears like seven and a half at minimum. And then if you can get up to nine hours of sleep a night, uh, that actually seems to have a performance enhancing effect. So don't overlook sleep. I know it's tough because it's time. Everybody wants a supplement they can take or something easy they can do that will get them better gains. But this is something that you can do that's in your control that will 100% have a measurable effect on your strength and hypertrophy gains. All right, guys, that's it for this week. If you liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you head on over to the links in my description and buy some of our fine merchandise. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you like these videos, please click the links in the description to check out some of my educational books where you can learn more about fat loss and contest prep.